Okay, here we are. Another day. Another beautiful day. It is a little warm today. It is uh, a high of, I think, uh, 94 it's going to get to. So it should be the last hot stretch of the year. We are up here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We're going to do some thrift store shopping in Wilkesbury as well. I'm going to do a little bit of East Stroudsburg. This, uh, because of the holiday uh, around this time period, um, because of the holiday, obviously, um, all these stores decide to kind of do like their big sales. Um, and what they do is the generally Salvation Army is the only ones I shop at. I don't shop at Goodwill. It's not a political thing. It's not an ethical thing. It is, you know, when you're talking about business, buy and sell, their price point is just too high for me around here. So I don't shop really much at Goodwill. I only do Salvation Army. I also believe that Salvation Army is a little bit less researched over and picked over in terms of uh, employee pilfering if that's even a word um so that's why i do salvation armies but due to the holiday a lot of them are doing like 50 percent off sales on random days so i thought i'm going to knock out my favorite thrift stores today uh, and that's the scran wilkesbury area i was going to do harrisburg but it, it just it didn't work out the way it wanted to work out so should be fun i'm going to try to find some cool things some interesting things some things we can make some money on and uh Hopefully something that we can probably keep for ourselves because that's always the fun part is shopping and trying to find something we can keep for ourselves. So if you're into uh, selling on eBay, selling on Etsy, selling on Amazon, and the sourcing aspect of it, here we are. Let's go try and find some good inventory. Never heard of that. All right, did grab some things here. Sports section's looking a little weak. What is this? Easy math. Hmm. This glove seen uh, seen better days. You're missing the whole the whole back piece on it. Called the Big Dipper. Made by McGregor. Here is an awesome Reebok logo sweatshirt. You get a black and blue color scheme. Uh, it's a vintage sweatshirt, of course it's missing a tag. So probably someone just ripped the tag off they wanted. It was too much money and they got frustrated. Uh, it seems to be like that with all like the best things. Always seem to always be missing a tag. So kind of is what it is with that. That one's all stained. Uh jeez. All right. Oh. Four ninety nine. That's also stained. All right. So this is a really cool denim jacket. Dallas Cowboys NFL branded. I bet this jacket probably cost like a hundred bucks back in the day. It's not on sale. really cool main to make a republic so it's probably not that old it is it's got that vintage vibe to it but I'm going to pass uh, just simply because it's not on sale and I don't think I'd get more than 30 bucks for it I, you know I've had denim jackets in the past and some have sold but they haven't sold for as much as a lot of people hype it up to be um, so I will pass on this. I'll leave it for someone else. There's a lot of cowboy fans in the area. So somebody's going to get a good deal. Um, if it was on sale, I'll probably take a, a risk at it. But given that I haven't done so well with denim in the past, regardless of its hype, I'm going to just put it back and let someone else get a good deal. All right. So here's the golf clubs. I did see this one. This one is a... Uh, it's not a good brand. It's like a junk brand. But I actually funny story is when oh they have a probably put together the whole set eventually I have the pitching wedge of this and I got it when I was in school uh, we went to our golf course and uh, I didn't have a pitching wedge I had a bunch of Goodwill clubs and they had a pitching wedge there for two dollars at the golf club store whatever you'd call it the pro shop 
and I grabbed it and everyone made fun of me. It was my best club. Like if I needed a seven iron, a nine iron, a pitching wedge, sand wedge, I just used that. Um, so this is the sand wedge that goes with the set. I should grab it because it's like that club has treated me so well, but I don't need it. I really don't. Um, but it's kind of funny because it's like that's such a random, it, it's just random. You know how many golf clubs there are out there and it's not a good brand. I mean this thing's probably worth it, just worth for scrap. It's not something I would sell you here. You have the four iron. It's kind of funny, but there are no good clubs here in terms of resale value. Um, it just, as they like to say, thrift store clubs. You have a John Daly down here. Never seen that one, but what's that? A little story time. You can never go wrong with some story time. Here's the toy section. Let's see if there's anything of value over here. Truck looks kind of cool. It's really plastic. Got a Furby in the box. These are collectors. Five bucks. This might be a good buy. I don't know if it's a special edition Furby. I got a bunch of army men up here. Oh, whoa. Oh. All sorts of figurines. Here you have a sewing machine. Kind of a mid-century look. And they have... Of the guy just screaming in my ear. Anyway, the thing was $49.99, and then the power thing had a thing for five bucks, and then the sewing machine had something for four, $35. So I don't know what your price was on that, but I'm thinking it's probably like 40 bucks. Um, very identical to the one that I grabbed in the trash. What was that yesterday, two days ago? Yesterday. Uh, I think mine's a little bit nicer. Mine's a new home. This one is a Singer, which I think Singer brings a little bit more money, but the, the case itself, I think, was my, mine was a little bit nicer. Uh, the ones that you kind of want are the ones that are cast iron, because people use the cast iron bases for tables. They sell the drawers. Here we got a uh, something and other. All right, here we are, last, last thrift store. What is this? Some reproduction kind of sign. Uh, I grabbed a bunch of clothes, but looking over here, like the housewares and accessories and stuff like that, there is nothing on these shelves. If you look over there, there's nothing. So I don't know what's going on. If they did like a big 50% uh, off sale or what. You have one brown Pyrex bowl right there. This looks like a dish set. Yeah, a dish set of something. But there's just like nothing here. And I highly doubt that it's like that they ran out inventory. I think it was more like they did a huge sale or someone came in and was like, let's clean off all the shelves and start fresh. Because these thrift stores do get a lot of this kind of glassware stuff. And uh, I think it kind of gets stale. Alrighty, so here we are with a recap of what we picked up today. Overall, it was a great day of picking. Found a lot of really good stuff and a lot of really interesting items. Picked up a couple things I kind of want to talk about as well as something else, which is pretty cool in itself and something I've kind of got into with this buying and selling thing. So I'll start off with the clothes. Uh, here is a New York Mets jacket. It's a vintage one, probably from the early 2000s. Uh, it's made by Starter. It's their genuine merchandise starter style jacket. It is a size small, so it's too small for me. These are what they call a dugout jacket. It's kind of a satin finish. Very, very hot in the early uh, early 2000s. I remember with the World Series, the Subway Series, they wore this kind of style jacket. Um, overall, a great pickup. I've seen these sell anywhere between like 60 to 80 bucks, depending on the team you have. I don't know how well the Mets will do, considering how poorly they played this year. Uh, this does have some little blemishes on it. I paid $10 for it. 
I thought it was a really cool jacket. I always wanted one of these as a kid, but during the time period that they came out, these things were like $100, $125 for a jacket. So I uh, never got one. Finally have one wrong size though, but I think I will be selling that. Another piece that I picked up is this New York Knicks hockey jersey made by Starter. And Starter really made some weird hockey jerseys and weird jerseys in general. Uh, I think this is called a crossover jersey or a switch up jersey. Uh, it is a hockey style jersey as you can see with the sleeves. It's not a basketball style jersey. And pretty much what they did is they took a team from basketball and made a hockey jersey with that logo and that color scheme. These sell very, very well. It's something that's very uh, popular in the hip hop hip hop uh, world and the streetwear street wear world. Um, something like this, pristine condition, get like 50 to 60. In this condition, I think I'm gonna get about 30 to 35. I did pay up, paid $8 for it. It wasn't on sale. But I know it's something that will definitely sell, and the lowest I'll get is definitely 20 So no matter what, I'm still making my money back. I'm doubling my money. It's probably tripling my money at the lowest. But uh, depending on the Knicks and how well they do, this is, could be a really, really good find. Uh, regardless, it is still a good pickup. Lastly, I did want to talk about this big piece. If I don't ruin my whole interior of my Jeep, I'm trying to switch it over. All right, so here we have an oil on canvas made by Hammer, O Hammer, uh, painting. This is an older one. I think it's probably from the 50s to 60s. Generally, with these older uh, paintings, you can tell based off the color scheme. So you have a northwest quadrant yellow running to the east quadrant. Actually, I really don't know what I'm talking about, but that sounded good. But I do really think that this is probably a 50s or 60s uh, painting. It is authentic. It's really oil. It's not a print. It's not something else. He's known to sign in the lower left area. Uh, the only kind of thing that I'm kind of debatable about this is why does it have all these little uh, specks on it? I don't know if that is something that the artist did or if it's something else. Uh, he also has a little blemish right there by his hand. If you guys might be able to see that directly in the center of the camera. I can't really point at it because I'm holding a camera and pulling the painting. But it's over there. Um, but I did find something else about... Um, I don't know. I was watching Antique Roadshow or something. And they are talking about focus points. So some artists might put blemishes or pinholes. And that was the focus point of the painting. However, I don't see any focus point here. And I don't think that's it. But it's overall a good painting. I didn't pay that much for it. You know, it wasn't something I paid like 40 or 50 bucks for it. But it's something But it's something that's kind of different in its way. Um, I've done really well with oil paintings at the flea market. Well, with any kind of painting at the flea market. I don't know if I'm going to take that. And the reason why is because I don't want to sell that for like 15 or 20 bucks. I think it's worth a lot more. Uh, online, it's probably eBay. They're probably on there for like 100 to 200 dollars. That's generally what like the overall... Uh, prices for paintings by artists on eBay that aren't, you know, somebody really famous. Uh, so something like that. I don't know if I want to take it to an auction house because an auction house I might be able to get like 50 to 100 for it. Um, or if I have somebody who might be interested in actually paying up and buying that. Maybe I'll even Facebook Marketplace if you're in the clown, something like that. You know, I know a lot of people will pay up for, for a real painting like that. Um, so I don't expect to sell that cheap. Uh, I purchased it pretty cheap, and I only purchased it really because it was an authentic oil on canvas painting. It wasn't what they call mall art, um, or something that you get like at uh, TJ Maxx or Sears, where it's like a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar painting. But it's it's mall art. It's a painting, but it's done in a factory where there's three hundred people, and they just each person paints a swoosh one way and somebody paints another swoosh somewhere else. So that's an overall great painting. Uh, lots of good scores with the clothes as well as a fun day of picking. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button so I know you guys are enjoying the videos. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace!